Hey guys, Don Diadre here. Uh, today I play the single player with some mods. I have like drug sim map and a little surprise. I like this truck and it's one of the most powerful trucks I think is used in Europe. And it's the Scania Torpedo I believe. Yeah. The Scania T. Most people call it Torpedo. But uh, yeah, I like this one. And uh, it's a little bit different with driving. But uh, well, let's go got like um, same kind of interior it's not that different but the main thing that is different with this truck is like you have the same with American trucks it's uh, it just have a nose and you really need to take the corners different than you normally would with like uh, Dove or Mercedes or anything like that so it's a bit different with driving um, I made a special account for this one so I don't have too many parts not the best engines that kind of stuff but it's not bad and uh, it's quite a good truck, especially if you can like begin with it. So just what is this guy doing? Um, well, then let's talk about the truck sim map. Uh, I think it's great. Um, some people on Steam uh, ask me to do it, and yeah, I personally think it's a really good advice to try it out since it's much bigger. Uh, you have like new places like Greece um, that I really like, uh, Egypt, and you can even see some pyramids and stuff like that. And yeah, just the whole north of Africa, uh, yeah, and a few other places, so I really like it. Um, this time I started my new company, well, new, it's like the same but then the single player version of the company. Uh, I just started it in Germany this time, a bit central. Um, for the people that know race games, uh, my base is at the Green Hell, so I think most of you guys know what I mean then. Uh, I really like it, and it's also uh, a bit different than the, the regular city, everything is a bit custom, stuff like that. Yeah, it's just great, and I use a lot of trailer molds and that kind of stuff, uh, traffic molds from Jesse Cat. Most people already know him, uh, the guy's like a legend, it's, it's, that guy has such great mods, it's just insane. We have like military cargo stuff like that I just do a regular trailer now but maybe I can do some military stuff uh, later on. Also I made like uh, well from the new game The Forest I made like a little video. Most people already know what game it is since well it's quite getting famous on YouTube already just like the stomping lands but well it's like a horror game. Uh, you crash with a plane. Uh, island full of cannibals, a bit like voodoo, black magic like stuff, but I really like it, it's a cool game. The saving is broke, but it will get fixed later on, so. Also, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to buy the stomping lands. Um, maybe Friday, Saturday, Dutch time, so. Spooks already got it, uh, he really liked that game, so maybe I can play with him. Um, and also a few friends from the UK, not sure, but. Maybe they will join me in the, the travels with Spooks. I think it's also a cool game. And, uh, must say I really enjoy the mods also from my uh, Euro Trucker. It's a little bit different than playing the multiplayer again. Uh, the first like few hours I had a lot of problems with traffic and that kind of stuff since I'm not any more used to it, you know. Um, most of the time in online you only think about the other trucks that are going to pass you or in front of you or something like that, rammers. But here you just need to watch out every few seconds. It's, I think it's much harder than online. Well, if you play it regular, you know, normal. Of course you've got like the rammers and the psychos and that kind of stuff online. But this boat is great, you know. It's uh, The online gives a more alive experience. But this is more like realistic trucking, I think. And yeah, it's, it's so much more awesome with the truck sim map. It's also uh, the, the guys that made it are really great. Uh, first I had like my base in Greece and you uh not sure I think Kavala you have like a few cities there and um, well the first things I already had was like a narrow alley I had to drive in with cars on it and it was really hard uh, also I had a little bit of problems on an off-road uh, road since I also have downloaded another truck but I don't have the money right now so I think it will be in a video later on and I think that truck is even more awesome but it's not, um, how do you say it again, it's not really immersive. 
it's like a big American truck and you have like a guy sitting next to you with a laptop and you've got like hands on the steering wheel it's just insane but well for this video I was like uh, first take a uh, European truck that is like more dependable not too big that kind of stuff uh, well I must honestly say I knew there was like a Scania T-Line torpedo not sure everyone calls it different but well I knew it was was out there but I never found like a mod that was stable for my uh, for my game I must say with all the mods on the loading time is just insane and I hope it don't crash later on but for the moment it really plays well it, it are just heavy mods you know the truck sim map is not oh okay they let me pass nice the truck sim map is not uh, not a light mod you really need to download a lot of files for it and it may be tricky for some people but yeah it's, it's just great if you ever have the time to try it out really do it it really expands your um, yeah your fun with the game uh, you have so much more to do you have so much places to see it's, it's just insane At the moment I'm just driving a bit in uh, Germany but and that is a really long trip I think we need to make I think we need to watch soon and let's yeah that's what I'm causing now really need a little bit of more horsepower and a better engine but uh, it's like the weakest engine Scania got 400 horsepower or something I'm not sure maybe even less oh no come on come on you can do it go up ah oh, man for sure I'd like a higher level on this one but it also have like a lot of customization options that kind of stuff really like it great truck but I really need uh, the better engine for it wow even passing me now oh come on 20 kilometers an hour it's not good it's a fun truck but can't wait uh, until I got like the better engines and stuff like that but I honestly must say I don't know how much time I like got for a Euro trucker the few weeks coming few weeks sorry since uh, we have a lot to do in school, um, also want to do a few different games for the moment. Seven Days to Die, of course. We had the 500 view specials for the people that didn't watch it. Uh, also want to thank you guys for watching my Euro Truck videos. And yeah, I hope you just like it. And let's see behind me. Not sure. Ah, oh, he's not going to pass me. It's better since it can be quite dangerous even with the IE on. Had a few crashes already uh, a few months ago when I was not filming yet. Some uh, truck was like going in the opposite direction and some bus wanted to do the same. So big crash in front of me and then I had to reload since uh, the road was blocked and they both didn't do anything. So that was uh, quite bad. But they have some uh, AI uh, improvements and stuff like that from software company. So it's much better and we finally bringing up some speed now. Sure, maybe we need to take a boat or something. I really don't know. It really takes a long time this uh, this uh, travel. And this is more like it. Going a bit too fast, I think. So a little bit of braking. A lot of braking. Ah, yeah, it's just something that's in the map. It's really cool, like the roadblocks. Uh, I think we need. Ah, I think here's also an alley. Not sure though. I let this guy pass. Oh, let us pass. Yeah. Well, guys, this was the kind of alley I was talking about. So uh, bear with me. It'll take some time. Uh, come on, don't hit anything. Ugh. Yeah. That's why I don't drive trucks in real life yet. All right. We need to watch out for the nose too of this truck. It's really a big truck. It's really driving different with corners than a uh, regular truck. We're almost there. Uh. Oh, damn it, shell no. Oh, well. The truck only had like 1% damage, so it's not too bad. The cargo is still safe. And the repairs are not that expensive, but. Uh, well, as you guys see, welcome to the truck sim map. It's really hard sometimes. I probably had like took the other road, but it's quite a fun challenge, you know. 
And I didn't look on the map if there was another road, so that's something for next time. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's really a cool map. It's just so well designed. So much uh, different things. You can also go to... Not sure, maybe it was Cyprus or something. You can go to like an island between Egypt and um, Greece. You, yeah, it, it, you j also have like things on that. And that's like something from the Jesse Cat mod. Really cool American trucks also on the road. Not very immersive, but I think it's cool. Also, you don't see many Kamas on the, the West European roads. Well, at least not in the Rotterdam Harbor, but... Yeah, it's quite cool also to see the those Kamas trucks. I don't know much about them, but... I might uh, even, if one of you guys have like a very good Kamas mod, maybe do one later on, but... I had a very good one, but I had to be level 14 or something, and that's just impossible for the moment. Um, I think I have like a month of school, and then I'm done and have summer holidays, so... It's something I can do then, since I'm really going to make a lot of videos, guys. A lot. I think also Spooks is going uh, to be in it, and of course he got his own videos too on this channel. Channel, channel, sorry. And uh, yeah, I think it's really going to be great. Can't wait. Alright, let this car pass. But, uh, for the moment I just enjoy this truck. I know a lot of people probably will say, just keep it blue, just keep the Scania stickers on it, that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I know with this trailer it looks really good, but I just wanted to go a little bit with the American style of the truck. Just wanted to make it red or black, and well, I must say, red is just. I th I think personal taste is just a little bit better on this truck. Uh, yeah, I really like it. It's, it's a good truck. The other one is a little bit more different, more um, luxury feeling, just more well made, I think. But it's just so immersive, and it just fits the game. And well, if you know like the roads in Western Europe, at least, it's probably one of the most powerful trucks you. Uh, yeah, I come to see here, you know. One time I had one passing by in Rotterdam and it just makes so nice sound. It's just awesome, this truck. Really, it, it, I think it's a V8, but it, it's really like a bit of an American roaring sound. Americans must know what I'm talking about, you know, the, the Chevrolets, the Mustangs, that kind of stuff, Corvettes. You can really have like that, that roaring sound. And this truck also has that in it and it's really cool. The ground was shaking when it was moving by. I know in uh, Holland they have like the very heavy car goats, like extra long trailers with potatoes and stuff like that. A lot of farming and equipment moving and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's this truck for. I don't think there are too many of them, but if you see them, it's it's quite a, a sensation. I must say, it's it's not an everyday thing. The Americans probably think still that this truck is small since your trucks are way bigger than ours. Probably have way more power, I'm not sure about that, but they really make so much noise if you see them on YouTube and stuff like that. I've seen like twice or something an American truck here in Holland since a lot of uh, circus and well carnival attractions and stuff like that is getting moved with uh, American trucks. Quite cool to see, but they're just not good for the road in Holland. It's just, it really makes no sense to drive a big Peterbilt here. I mean, the the fuel mission is not that good of them. Yeah, it's it's just too big. How to turn? Uh, I don't know. Can't really turn with the thing. It's so big. And ooh, way too fast. Way too fast. Brake, brake, brake. <sighs> That's better. Well, this is like also some road work they're doing. I must say, it's so detailed. Look at these guys working. It's awesome. It's, it's really well made. Really thought about how to do this map, you know. It's it's some kind you really have like a challenge, you know. Uh, I have also driven in Denmark. Denmark something, yeah. I think you pronounce it like that in English. But uh, yeah, it was, it was really cool. With I drove there with my big American truck then. But I had a few crashes uh, trying out new trucks and stuff like that. But I think my game is pretty stable now, so... Yeah, I hope I can deliver more videos also later on. And I uh, think we're going to end the episode here. And, well, I just continue right after this one. But maybe for the people that think this one is too long, they can just, uh, yeah, watch it in two parts. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next part.